TV providers are losing subscribers. They lost them in the last quarter. Tempers are starting to flare. Blame is being thrown around. Shalini Ramachandran is here to talk about it. Uh, you know, it's interesting. Someone suggested that, uh, who was it, that, that said pay TV. They're, they're living in a bubble mentality. They don't understand what's really going on out there. Right. Are, are these numbers, these latest numbers, going to help uh, dispel some of that bubble? You know, it may. And, I mean, the thing that, that's been interesting is it, in several different quarters, you see some slight growth, some, some, mm -hmm. uh, some declines. And so pay TV executives have sort of been split on whether cord cutting is actually happening. And a lot of folks this quarter really thought, okay, this, these are signs that, that there is cord cutting going on. Executives on earnings calls acknowledged it. Yeah. Um, and it seems like a lot of video customers are getting priced out of the market, and that's what folks are saying. Yeah, I mean, I want to, uh, can we pull up some of the, do we have a, a chart with some of the numbers, actually, to, to talk about this? I want to show this to people. Uh, you, you know, Charter Communications, uh, they lost 48,000 subscribers. Dish Network lost 78,000 subscribers. You probably know, why, why am I reading this? You probably know these numbers better than I do. Well, the, the interesting thing was this time, the two satellite operators, DirecTV and Dish, mm -hmm. lost a whole lot more video subscribers in the second quarter than did uh, the year earlier quarter. Mm -hmm. So it shows, and, and satellite operators are you know single play, they have video, that's right. all they offer. They're not like cable operators. So they really show the health of the market in, the, in a different way. Yeah, and, and look, you know, it's interesting. You have all these different cross currents, right? You have the CBS spat. You have Google coming out with that Chromecast, that little $35 nubby thing that you stick in your TV. Uh, how clued in are these guys to what is going on out there? They're pretty clued in. I mean, they have a sense that a lot of stuff is going on, but they also realize that their industry, which you know operates with these buddy-buddy relationships with the big media companies yeah. that own most TV channels, they feel like it's a great business for them. So why should we bother with selling to a, a new competitor like an Apple or Google or whoever might come and want to start offering some sort of online-only mm -hmm. TV service? So m big media companies, in, uh, in a big way, are are kind of keeping this bubble intact and. For them, it's a great business. Now the distributors are showing signs of, of weakness, and so they're starting to think about new ways. And, and you even see uh, Cablevision's Jim Dolan this past week saying, you know, he sees a day when he, uh, Cablevision stops offering the video product. So right. it's a pretty interesting time. Are, you know, and it seems like this is probably the real bottom line. Are, are ad rates suffering? Well, see that it's it's uh, it's not exactly clear right now, and that it's because these numbers are uh, we're, we're talking about in the hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of losses, whereas the in entire universe is a hundred million homes. Right. So it's still like small small little bits and pieces, small little percentage declines. Yeah. So, but uh, it's that's what the folks are saying when they think about a bubble. You know, it, there's a there's a good time, and then soon things start right, to happen. Right. When you start seeing ad rates suffer, that's when you know that th this whole game is over. Shalini, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for coming in today.